Hi guys, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS in Wilson Lords of Mayhem. First of all, we're gonna make sure that you set up properly your Windows 10. So in the search bar, write game mode, open the game mode. Make sure that game mode is at off, really important. You will gain a couple of FPS over there. Game bar at off and all those capture stuff from Windows 10. So background recording at off, recorded audio at off. Really important also, make sure that you update your uh, graphic parameter. So if you have like uh, Nvidia or AMD, you want the latest driver to run the game properly. So now we will go inside of the game. I will show you what parameter that you can change. And also after that, we will go in the config file because you have a couple of stuff that you can also remove to gain more FPS. So now let's go in the game. So now we are in the game. First of all, I saw something with this game. Um, for an example, if you start with I and you apply, okay, and you change, I don't know, a lot of different parameters you put at low, you have uh, four different graphic parameters that are only in the config file and you can change it. So they will be by default at I, even if you change a lot of stuff to low over there. So what you wanna do, it's start at low, press apply, Restart your game and you're going to make sure that those four parameter are at low. Uh, you need to do that if you have like a low end co computer or even mid range or if you want to achieve like a lot of FPS because you have, I don't know, a 144 Hertz screen. So you need to do that. It will work with low or medium. So if you have a pretty decent computer and you want more FPS, go with medium, press apply, reset your game. And after that, change your stuff. For example, texture quality, you want very high. Uh, you can put very high over there, but you're going to make sure that those four parameters are changed. But I will show you also how to change it manually in the config file. So first of all, we're going to start at low. We press apply. Let's go. Display mode. Make sure that you're playing full screen. This is the best version of it. Uh, I did a couple of tests with uh, window, full screen, borderless and window. Uh, you will lose 2 to 3 FPS. So play full screen. Resolution depend really on your screen your monitor so after all the change that I will show you if you still don't get your 60 FPS or more whatever your objective uh, you will need to lower your resolution VSync I don't use it uh, enable, enable sorry if FPS limit this one can be uh, good if you want to limit your FPS with your screen so for an example you have a 60 Hz screen you want to limit it at 60 if you have a 144 Hz screen limit it at 100 44 why you should do that because a lot of people are saying that uh, <laughs> their video card it, or even the cpu is uh, overheating when they're playing this game so if you see that your temp are pretty high limit your fps because you don't want your video card to work for none for nothing sorry after that show fps please check this one because uh, you will see your fps at the top left of your screen so all the change that you're doing you you can like monitor it over there anti aliasing i recommend medium in this game don't put that off honestly even or just if you have like an integrate video card maybe you will need to play at off but at off you will see a lot of like lines are breaking and stuff a lot of aliasing in this game so medium is a decent one uh you will gain like uh 5 fps if you compare with i and honestly the smaa 1x is pretty good in this game Sharpening, uh, I don't touch it. Uh, you can put a little bit more if you want, uh, but it will not affect your FPS. Chromatic aberration, I'm putting this one at zero. Vignetting, motion blur and lens flare, uncheck all those options. You will gain like three FPS because of pretty much the lens flare because motion blur will not give you more FPS. And I don't even know why they add motion blur in this game. It's, it's a bit weird. Not really, it's an effect that you see with first person shooter game. After that, shadow quality, this one really important, 3% for each bracket, so put this one at low, it will help you a lot. Animation quality, you go, you can go medium to high, honestly, you will have like 2 FPS difference for each bracket, so not a huge deal over there. Object detail, 3 FPS difference, but not 3 FPS, it's like 2% uh, for each bracket, so depending on your computer, you can gain more or less. Uh, so you can easily go with medium over there. Water quality over there, 2%. Uh, again, you need to see water to um, to uh, to lose or gain FPS. If you're see seeing your FPS dropping when you see water in the game, uh, it's probably because of the water quality. So just lower this one to low or medium. 
Texture quality, I'm putting this one at very high, really depend on your VRAM on your video card. If you have four gig and more, you can put it at very high. If you have three gig high, two gig medium, less than two gig, play at low. The last one, volumetric effect quality. This one is a huge one. It's a bit like shadow, so a big effect, 4% for each bracket. So let's go with something with medium. If you need more FPS, go with low. You will see a huge impact when you change this one. After that, press apply. You can press OK. Now we will go in the config file. I will show you uh, other parameter that you don't see here. And uh, they are changing uh, when you're depending on what you change in graphic quality option. So to find this, uh, the config file, you need to go to your C drive, users, the name of your computer, save game, Wilson, profile, default. You will need to open attributes. Me, I'm using uh, Notepad++, but you can open it with Notepad if you want. So when you open this, the option that you need to check is particle over there. Make sure that this one is at one. Physic, make sure that this one is at one. Uh, texture resolution, make sure that this one is at one. And shading, make sure is the sh uh, spec shading is at one. Those four pyrener are not in the game. So if you did the trick with the low uh, graphic quality apply and go back to your game after that to modify uh, graphic parameter, it will work. If you didn't do that, probably you will see some four over there uh, because you, whatever the game start at high or very high. So by default, it will be at high or very high depending uh, what the game decide to choose for your computer. So this is pretty much the place that you can change. So if you see some four, you just remove the four, put one, and after that, press save. When you did that, uh, you can block the file if you want. So you can right click on it, click properties, read only, and you will lock the file. So you're going to make sure that the game will not override your parameter that you just changed. But honestly, I recommend to do it in the game. And after that, uh, you should be fine for the attributes. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.